Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's Upsna and today I am so excited to talk about the Pat McGrath Labs Skin Finish Sublime Perfection Foundation. I love Pat McGrath, so you know I'm super excited. For today's video, I wanted to be extremely thorough. I wanted to give you guys the details, show you a few different ways of applying the foundation and then go through the wear tests. Let's start with the packaging. Of course, being Pat McGrath, the packaging is just absolutely stunning. I love the box that it came in. The component and the product itself is in a beautiful glass bottle. It has a pump and it is just stunning. All right, I was extremely thorough for this foundation review. I know that online it says you can use your fingers to have sheer coverage or a brush for more medium coverage. I decided I wanted to also test out a sponge and then a mixture of using a brush and a sponge. I did four different tests and I did different setups for each one. Starting with day one, I decided with a no primer, light powder, only two pumps and using a brush with a little bit of color correcting. I primed using only moisturizer because you do need to have a little bit of slip to your skin. And I did go in and use a peach color corrector around the eyes and the mouth. I'm telling you, taking this out of the box is super fun. For the first day, I used a brand new IT Cosmetics brush and this blends like a dream. It blends so quickly. So if you're on the go, if you want to be done in a hurry with your foundation, this will help you with that. Here is the second coat and again, very sheer. You can make it a little bit more medium, but it's, it's definitely not very full coverage in any sense of the word. It's definitely sheer you know, editorial. Here's a shot with just the foundation. Moving on, I did the NARS Creamy Concealer under the eyes, nose, Cupid's bow, chin, a little cream contour from ABH. And I used a brush to blend everything out here as well, just to keep everything consistent. And I followed through with a little bit of powder contour. I used a very light amount of powder and I used on a very tiny little brush. I just wanted a little bit to see how this sets and I used the Morphe Continuous Setting Spray. I use this every day to make sure I had that controlled um, item. I did some blush, highlighter, and I was donezo for that day. It was, this is a really beautiful foundation. I will say it does look very, very nice on the skin. Moving on, you guys are gonna get lots of check-ins in this video. They're gonna be very close up to my face. I'm sorry if you don't wanna see it, but I'm sure that all the foundation connoisseurs will appreciate it. By the way, this looks absolutely stunning in the daylight. This foundation's just really pretty in the daylight. Honestly, hour four, I thought it was looking really, really good. Here's some dark car action light. It's a little bit late, so it is time for me to remove my makeup, but I think easily this could probably last another two hours or so. I, mean, I feel like it's breaking up slightly here, but again, I know that I had the corrector and the concealer in this area specifically. Same thing with down the nose and then right here under the eye, which my eyes always crease, like my eyes never will not crease. Mainly where just the foundation is, it's really good and it's not even like you know, it's not even like rubbing off on your hands or anything. I feel like my highlight, my blush usually kind of starts to disappear around hours four. So I'm really surprised at how everything has stayed on. Everything is still in place. I feel like maybe it's slightly more dewy than before. Maybe if you have oilier skin and you use this, you might need a powder on hand. With a successful first day behind us, we moved on to day two. 
For day two, I decided to use primer, which was Tatcha, the same powder, two pumps, and using my hand on one side of the face and a sponge on the other side. Now I wanted to test out this uh, technique of using your hands to use your foundation. I really don't do that, but I saw it online. I've seen a few makeup artists do it. So, you know, I wanted to try it out to see. And I will say you definitely use a lot less product with it. Um, and the finish does come out really, really nicely. So that's just one side done. For the second side, I decided to use the Real Techniques Miracle Complexion Sponge and go on the other side of the face. Honestly, I can't tell a difference. One side is with the hand, the other side was with the sponge. I think that both sides looked exactly the same. So I did the same thing as day one. I did some concealer and the same cream contour, but to blend everything out, I did use a sponge instead of a brush. And I also used the same amount of powder, just a little bit right underneath the eyes, on the nose, chin, and forehead. I used the same setting mist on all days to make sure that I had one controlled item. And then I followed through with a little bit of hourglass powder as well as some Fenty highlighter. I will say it looked really, really nice. All right, time to get into all the check-ins and I tried to do almost every hour for this day. I will say for up to four hours, this looks gorgeous. Five hours is when I started to notice just a little bit of shininess, dewiness peeking through. I like that because I have normal to dry skin, but somebody with oily skin, I don't know if they will like it as much. You can see it's starting to break slightly apart, just become a little bit more oily in those areas. Um, and then the final coverage, you can see that it definitely wore down a lot more than the first day. Moving on to day three, this was the day that I went super minimum. I did no primer, really light oil, just one pump, and I used my hands to get everything in. To start, I did use just a little bit of oil because my skin was feeling a little dehydrated. I went through and I massaged all of that and then I went in with just one pump of this foundation. So I, you know, applied it, put it all over the face and then used my hands to blend everything in. I don't know why I thought it was funny, but it felt weird. It's just like, you wanted it to be like moisturizer, but it was still foundations. I don't know. A little bit odd. Uh, I went through and I used a brush underneath for concealer and I did use my fingers to make sure that I had an even finish and everything blended in. Basically I was going for the what foundation look, I have nothing on my skin. Set it with a little bit of spritz and I was ready to go about my day. Here is the first zoom in of the day just to start and then we're moving on to our check-ins. Hour four and I could tell that there was something on my skin, but it wasn't obvious that there was foundation. And you know, honestly, it was so, 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 so light. Um, again, you can see on the nose right around hours five, six, that's where it starts to get shiny um, and a little bit of your natural oil start to come through. For the third day, I did the longest wear test. I did almost 10 hours and it was very, very sheer. It did stay on my cheeks, but right on my T-zone, my nose and my mouth, that's where it just completely broke apart and it said bye. I mean, 10 hours with super light coverage. I threw a lot at it, so you know, I couldn't expect it to do that well, but it was okay. If you want skin that just kind of looks like you have nothing on, go for it. Day four, we went 
all out. This was my beauty guru day. So I started with some Smashbox primer. I patted that all over the skin. This works so well under so many foundations. I moved on. I started with one pump and used a brush to put it all over the face. It honestly looks pretty good with just one uh, coat if you really want it to be, you know, super light, but you can build it up to medium coverage if you want to. This is how it looks when it gets built up. And this is two pumps on the face without anything else. Moving on, I used a little bit of a different concealer. This is the Milani Conceal and Perfect with the Tarte Shape Tape mixed in. I wanted to see what it would perform like with some heavier uh, concealer in there. And I did actually bake. I don't usually bake, but I just wanted to see what it would be like if you had more powder to set it with. Technically, this doesn't need powder. Um, it's a nice enough foundation that can set by itself, but I just wanted to check. Finished it up with a spritz of the Morphe Continuous Setting Spray, and then I moved on to the rest of the complexion work. I did use a cream blush just to see how it would react, um, because I did use powder blushes on the other days, and then the same Hourglass and Fenty highlight combo, and we were done. I thought it looked really, really nice. And of course, on the first application, this just looks beautiful. especially in the sunlight, really, really nice. Hour five, and you can see just around the nose, just a little bit of oil and dewiness is coming out. Here's hour six. Sorry, the hair just kind of disintegrated. It's just, it was a mess. Uh, I wore this for seven and a half hours. I was so impressed with how well that highlight stayed on. Insane, absolutely insane. I thought it wore pretty well, but like right in the center of the face, you can see it kind of really just didn't stay as long. But overall, not too bad. My final thoughts on this foundation. I will say, definitely use a brush. I think it works so much better with this brush. I was surprised at how long the foundation really did stay on it. I was also surprised at how long my highlighter, contour, and other products stay. That I wish that this product was available in more stores. Foundation is so difficult to pick out and finding it online, even though you can match, you can't always get it right. I feel like I should have gone to two shades darker if I was able to test it out was, I probably would have been able to tell but you know that's just one of those things moving on this is not a full coverage foundation so if you are a full coverage addict this is not for you no way but if you like a light foundation then you will absolutely love this if you like a skin finish you will absolutely love this this is the kind of foundation that you can wear and say oh I'm not actually wearing any makeup if you apply it lightly enough I wish it did have a little bit more of dewiness because my skin is dry I do like to have a little bit of dewiness which I missed in this foundation but besides that I did like everything else I thought that it wore pretty well it is pretty expensive so you really have to decide if this is going to be something that you would like the person who would like this foundation the best is somebody who likes a light coverage foundation I think it did work best for somebody who has a normal skin type so I'm usually normal to dry in the summer I'm more normal so I think it worked well I do wonder what it's going to be like when my skin gets drier in the winter all right guys so that's all I have for you today tell me if you are thinking of picking up this foundation what you think of Pat McGrath's products I think that she's very innovative and I do think that this is a different type of foundation than I've had before in my life but I don't know if it is for everyone all right with that said I hope you guys have a great day. I will see you all next week. Bye.